Hi all, out here with more space engineers, and uh, what do you think? Big enough for a hangar entrance? I think it should work. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of stuff going on today. Um, just over here killing a little bit of time, but uh, we're going to be finishing up the habitation area. Well, we've finished the habitation area, but we're going to be working on that little uh, landing pad area that we were talking about. And then we will get started over here. And I'll explain what's going on with the hangar once we get the hab area done. First, we have to get started, so let's go. So, happy Monday everybody. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend and are having a terrific day. Uh, so yeah, we did run into a little bit of problem with the shield being expanded out as big as it is. Um, all our batteries are dead. <laughs> so we can pull a little bit of charge when we have the sun on one side of the asteroid where all of the solar panels are. Um, but the shield itself is taking so much power that we can't really maintain a charge. Um, we're getting closer. So I've decreased the amount of power going to the shield and it hasn't really helped. As you can see, the shield is going up and down, so it's going to keep doing that for a while. All right. Well, what that means is that we'll need to get the, uh, get a reactor room online. Now, I don't know, did I leave the, I did. Okay. I left some of the waypoints up. Uh, what I've been doing is I went out and cleared some more of the random spawns and stuff and I started checking the asteroids around those spawn points. I found uranium. I actually found a pretty good chunk of uranium. It was about um, just shy of 250k, I think. So not too bad, but it's the only uranium we found and I'm kind of worried, but I've got it. I brought it back. I went ahead and mined it out, brought it back. Um, it's processing right now as power permits. But yeah, we need to get a reactor online, so I'm kind of tempted to just go ahead and throw a large reactor in back here somewhere, just to bring one online. Um, and I'm thinking we may go ahead and just do that like right here. So we have enough clearance that we should be able to drop one of these in here fairly easily. Yeah. And we'll turn you that way so I can see the status of it. And hopefully Bob will prioritize this. He should. He's uh, been basically working on all of our, our blocks out here, our armor blocks. And has gotten a few of them welded up. So, yeah. Like I said, hopefully he'll get this online. Um, worst case, actually, oh, you already got all the parts in there, awesome. There we go. Okay, so... Look at that. I think that just solved our power problems. Okay, let's... Yeah, just shy of complete output on this thing. Uh, what are we looking at here? Okay. So yes, we definitely need to get a uh, an actual reactor room online, which we'll. I'm thinking we're gonna do three of these guys on. And now that the generator is online, we can actually see that we uh, our shields are pretty much um, non-existent yeah our shield looks like it's it's technically up but it's residual <laughs> so it'll take a hit but it'll be like a single hit uh, look at a bunch of mayday signals I may go clear those mayday signals out um, if I do I'll probably record it all right so anyway Let's get back to what we were talking about down here. So for this, we want 
some things to be true. And I'm thinking... Hmm. How do I want to handle this? If we go... Like the like so. Actually, hold on a second. We want to set you to the color that is not going to weld. And should be able to get away with this. Alright, so if we go, say, out to here, uh, we'll see. We'll see if that works. I'm not, actually, let's not use that block. Let's go that block. Alright. And then, uh, let's see here. If we bring you back to there, then we can do the same on this side. That gets us uh, a pretty good chunk mapped out here. Let's go like so. And actually, we're going to have to cut that one short so that we don't run into the windows. Because I know otherwise I'd have to um, replace the windows, which we could do, but I'm kind of not wanting to. So I'm thinking something around this size would be good. Now, some of these blocks are going to come out once we're a little bit further along. These are just really here to uh, give us an idea of how much room we're working with. Now, the nice thing is, is because of the fact that we are doing this in an area that doesn't really have need for a lot of space, we could even go, let's take that out, take that out. Energy low. And, and we could... Actually, let's go this way instead. We could do something like this. And this would give us a little bit more room if we wanted to actually have it come out further. So maybe have it come out two, three. So how about if we do it this way? And I'll probably change up the... Like I said, these are... I don't know if these are going to stay here or if we're going to do something else with them. I haven't decided yet. And you're going to go... Because it? All right. So we could take it out as far as that. I mean, we could take it all the way over to the wall if we really wanted to. And I might. Because that would actually give me room to have a pretty good vehicle. I know when we were talking about it before, the idea was that it would be something that wasn't necessarily a an amazing vehicle. It would basically be a, a spawn point, a bunch of thrusters, a little bit of cargo, and a control seat. Um, but I'm starting to think, based off of the other ships that we have, one of the things I don't have, I don't actually have a good one of, is a, a troop transport. So I'm thinking we may do a troop transport for this. And if I do that, that's going to be something that we'll want to have a little bit more space for. So I'm thinking we might actually go all the way here. And we end up with something that comes over here. Energy critical. 
and then we'll have the half blocks on the back wall there to close that off this could be something all right so that would be something like that all right so let's go and get some ah crap <laughs> Wrong color. Uh, and I want those to be carbon fiber. All right, let's so get charged up really quick, and I'll show you some of the other things that we've done because um, folks had been saying it was a little monochrome in here, so we've gone ahead and added just a, a splash of color and you know, nothing too over the top. Go ahead and sit here and get charged up. So we've gone ahead and done the wood texture and coloring on all of the chairs and uh, seats and stuff. We've gone a slightly different shade of the of the grayish white on the uh, the kitchen stuff. Basically, went with the clean armor look, so it changes up the the color a little bit more. And yes, I know it's still monotone. Um, I'll figure out something to do with the rest of it. And then here are the planters we've also made wood. Now in the bedrooms, I've gone ahead and reorganized these a little bit, mainly because of the fact that I, like I said, I wasn't really happy with the way that this flowed. And a couple of other people said something similar, like they, they didn't like the way that the beds were positioned and how cramped everything was. So I've taken out the middle bed on both sides. We've put in the wooden desk. I'll turn the light on here so you can see a little bit better. And then reorganize the way things here. So now that each of these rooms basically have their own um, setup, so that they're you have your own in uh, ensuite, and then you have this for the people who are coming in through that, that area, or you know the folks from downstairs that are coming up. So you don't have to share facilities with everybody. And then this one we did the same thing. So I'm thinking here. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do here was something like mm, that, I think. Because I had been thinking, actually, where is... No, that's not what I want, but what I would do is something like, say... Something like that, maybe. Mm. No, nah, I think I'll just do, I think I'll just go with the regular walkway. We'll just go with the straight walkway. Right. I keep walking into that window. All right. And we'll do the same on this side. And it just gives you, you know, a little bit of separation in the space here. I mean, we could go so far as to actually build this into its own separate thing. I think we could put an offset door right here. In fact, let me show you what that would look like. Since we're talking about this stuff anyway. So, you know, we could do like an offset door right there, which would give you a little bit of privacy on this side. Um, but I think that's a bit much, honestly. I don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah, see, then you can be in here. There's a door. So you could you could be in here, take care of your stuff. You're good to go, right? And it cuts. Well, I guess it doesn't really cut too much of the visibility of that off. Hmm. We'll leave it for now. Um, yeah, more homework for you. Put down in the comment section whether you like that design or not. I'm going to leave it as it is for right now, and we're going to head back outside. Actually, I just burned all that power I got. Let's get some more power really quick. It's dusk facing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> 
How are we doing for oxygen? Uh, we are almost out, and so we'll go up this way, open that up, and we're gonna go drop this thing into an oxygen tank really quick. Because it just took the last little bit that we had. All right. So let's change up, make sure we have our color and texture going. Alright. And so now what we're going to do is just par for the course on this portion. Ah, son of a... <laughs> I swear. There you go. Sheesh. And so we're just going to get this in here. Like I said, it's very possible that I'm going to cut some of this back at some point. Um, I'm not sure if I want to have this much space up here. But, once we get the... I think we'll, I'll wait until we have the reactor room in before I make the final determination on if I'm cutting this back or not. Um, and I honestly will probably cut this down at least a little bit. Uh, part of what I want to do is have this open, you know, so because you have the seats out there, like I kind of want to have those seats have a bit of a view out here. So I'm pr I will probably cut this back um, or maybe even separate this into two platforms. That might not be a bad idea. So, yeah, I'll let Bob run with that. I actually need the walkways back. Let's clear this stuff off our inventory. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some of these along here. Uh, don't really need them there, but you know what? Let's take these out. And we will go... I change the color so that they don't get loaded up. Change these back. Alright, and you're going to come out, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put a walkway all the way around this thing. And since I've got this block selected already, I guess we're going to find out how well that new collision system works, yeah? I've said before, it's keen, you know, it's... Love the folks there, but... <laughs> I have a feeling it's not gonna work as well as we're hoping it is. Alright, so... That gets us... the landing pad. Like I said, not anything overly exciting, right? Alright, so we're going to let Bob finish welding all of this up, but you get the idea of what's going on. Uh, one of the things that I need to do is I'll put some lighting in here. I may build an overhead light system of some kind that basically comes out, which is one of the reasons why I was thinking it might not be a bad idea to actually have this uh, be divided up into two landing pads, because then we can actually have lighting systems out here that are specific to each of the... Uh, the halves. And then we could... But yeah. That, that is a huge landing pad. Up here. I mean, I could even cut it he at like here. And get rid of all of this. So you end up with a walkway out here. To the pad over on that side. But... Oh, all right, we'll leave it alone for now. Let me know what you think. Put your feedback in the comment section. That's that's your homework for tonight. 
So let's head over here. Now, one of the things that I did do, so I went ahead and uh, counted this stuff out. And we're using the 10 slot uh, force field door on the side. And that will give us a giant open area so that we can just fly ships in and out without having to worry about the doors. Now the drawback to that is, is that those things use hard light. So what it, what's really going on is that the boundary is there no matter what, if it's a physical door or if it's these things. Um, but I'm not sure how much of a hit they can take. So it'll be interesting to see because one of the things we're going to need to do on this side is we are going to have to have um, another, I'm probably going to put another set of solar panels in. Um, we've got this nice area up here. So I'm thinking either put solar panels in up here to track the sun for while it's over here, um, or put in a full on defense system. And we're talking like custom turret style defense system. And sometimes you just have to admire how pretty this game is. All right. So, um, but yeah, so like I was saying, this is the, the opening that we're working with. And let's fly back here a little bit. So it's not going to be something easily missed <laughs> when you're approaching. Um, but I, like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to if this is going to be far enough out, which is one of the reasons why I was talking about um, trying to to switch it up, where we would have maybe that be the side of the hangar, and then have the front of the hangar like over here. But I don't want to expose more of the hangar than I need to, so I do think we're going to leave this here. Uh, but let me see. I don't know how many blocks out we went. So let's go from here. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33, huh? To here. And that's only if we bring the hangar in this far. How big is our ship? It should be, I want to say it's like 18. It may not even be that. All right. All right so that's a one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so it's more than it's almost twice. It needs to be thirty-eight to be twice. So can we get away with bringing that hanger out five more blocks? and not be overly exposed. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how exposed that's going to be. It's on the only reason why it may be acceptable is because of the impacts from the, uh, the meteorites. Well, it's kind of given us a shielded space there. But I think that'll work. All right, so that's how that's where we'll update this. Actually, there's not much we have to do. We do that. See, I kind of like the way where it was because it's well within the normal asteroid. Actually, you know what? Let's let's put the difference. Let's move it out. There, so that'll give us 35. So that should give us enough room to, to do what we need to do. And then the idea is that down here, 
we're basically going to run a line down to this area. Um, you know what? How, how far out is our shield? Our shield um, can almost encompass, and once we get a couple of reactors online, a couple of the large reactors, we might be able to actually encompass this entire thing. And if we're going to do that... How much of the... You're still a bit exposed, but that's only because of the way we have the th whole shield situated. Hmm. I mean, we could... I'm trying to figure out where to put the shipyard. I'm almost tempted to put the shipyard up here, but I, see, the thing is, is I want to have it be something that you can walk to easily. Because we're going to run into a, a situation with all the gravity generators and such, because we're going to have to have gravity in a bunch of different places. And so I'm wondering... Energy low. Uh, 25. We have a... We have a bunch of ships we can jump into. I'm thinking we may actually bring the shipyard over on this side. What we'll do is we can have it uh, basically come out and then have a couple of the shipyard docks over here. So we'll have the hangar over there, the shipyard coming off of that side. And we still need to get a little bit more defense in over here. So we're going to have to, eventually we're going to have to have a pilot hole drilled out here anyway to run um, all of our connections and stuff to put a defense turret in. Or a... Basically, we're going to replicate what we have on the other side for the little defense bunker thing. Uh, so we'll have two of those, one on either side on this on that end of the asteroid. We will have a second one of these over here, on probably on the corner, like around here-ish. Um, I'll run the I'll run some blocks over and see what we can come up with, but it'll be. Probably somewhere over in that corner there. We'll have, like I said, we'll have two more on the other end. The top of the hangar on the other side of the asteroid already has defense platform. Have another defense platform there. And depending on how big we can get this shield when we have three of the large reactors online will determine where we're putting the other solar panel. Because I think right now, yeah, the shield is actually big enough to pretty much encompass the asteroid. So that's good. And now what we'll do is we'll, we'll tune all of the anti-asteroid and, uh, yeah, all the anti-asteroid turrets to fire so that they're just outside of the shield. So if we've got a, say, a 500 meter shield, you know, we'll have the uh, turrets targeting it like 600 meters out for the asteroids. That way they're not shooting at things that are gonna go past the shield. All right, so I think we've got a game plan. Okay, so um, I've got a bit of work to do. I think we're going to go ahead and keep this one short for today. I want to thank y'all for stopping in, mainly because of the fact that I've got, uh, I don't know, probably four or five hours worth of uh, stone excavation to do. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> and so I'm going to work on that. Um, and then when we come back next time, we should have this area excavated, like 
all of this hangar space excavated all the way into where it's going to go for depth wise and then we will uh, I'll go ahead and get the uh, the framing of it placed we'll get the the initial doors in Oop, let me head over here really quick and grab some power so yeah we'll get the we'll get the doors in we'll get a bunch of stuff done basically just get the uh, the little t the tedious repetitive stuff done and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do on the interior of it because we're gonna have to do you know I want to have something that isn't just this ginormous space with you know nothing in it I want to have I want it to be an actual hangar so we're gonna do some interior design on it but all of that said I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw those down in the section below. Uh, the, all of the feedback is always appreciated. Uh, I want to also thank everybody who has stuck with me through all of this. Welcome to the community for the folks who are joining us for the first time or recently. Um, it is all greatly appreciated. And I do enjoy the conversation, so feel free to let me know what you think down in those comments sections. And I'm going to get out of here. So <laughs> I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your Monday. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we will see you back here on Wednesday for more Space Engineers.